Hey everyone and welcome back to my YouTube channel. So in this tutorial we are trying to automate a game called Hill Climb Racing. And I already start this tutorial by the name of Lord Ganesha. And this is the highly requested video from my brother. And he actually challenged me that is brother you are a programmer I know I believe. But if you wanted to make this one it will be grateful. And I accept his challenge and I make these automations. So well, let's get started and jump on our code. As you can see here, this is the, our folder structure. Okay, you can see here a file name called Dread Key. So don't worry on that. I'll be explain why this file is on this folder. And you can also see here a step. Uh, this is a text file. So don't worry on that. I, I will be continue on that. Okay. So I'm going to click here and open with code. So it will open my Visual Studio code. You can see here Visual Studio code. This is the game automation folder. So I am going to click here to create new Python file. So let's say name add main.py. So first thing first, you need to install some library. So first thing first, you need to install a library called OpenCV. So just open your command prompt and type here pip install, okay, and OpenCV, Python. Okay, make sure that you have a stable internet connections. And also you need to install a library called MediaPy. Okay, so media pipe. So these all are the required library to you need to install this. Okay, so I'm not going to install this and because I already done before. Okay, so the technique are actually you're going to use that is actually using the media pipe hand post estimator technique. So first thing first, we are going to actually detect our hand force. Then we are going to count the finger. So if the count the finger, that's mean if the finger is opened. Okay, that's mean open we are going to uh, accelerate the uh, vehicles. So if the finger are closed, so we are going to break the vehicles. So this is the technique for that. So I already make a video for the hand post estimator. How can you do that? How can you do that? So I'm going to pass the code here. Okay, so this is the code for that. So but oh, I also explain the code line by line. Okay, but if you have a confusion, so go through and please check this video from my playlist and link will be in the description. So first thing first, you need to actually import the CPT library because we are dealing with real time and import the media pipe as MP and you get an MP draw for the solution of the drawing utils because we need to draw the hand uh, pose. Then we need to make a solution for the hands. There are so many solutions in uh, media pipe, let's say object detection, um, what do you call face mesh, face detection and so on. So we are going to use the hand pose one. So you can see our initial as a video capture object. So video equal to cb2 dot video capture object. Then we actually load our model. So this is the word hand model. So if I control and press here, you can see if I go down, you can see her max number of hand right now one. So by default it two, but I make it as one because in our problem we just wanted to detect only one hand. Okay. So let's make it again one. Go here. So the mean detection confidence that means 0.5. So if the confidence is 0.5, that means 50%, we're going to detect our, what do you call, the hand pose. And the mean tracking confidence also 0.5 says hands. And while true and the red frame, we are going to read the frame from our BD capture. Okay, so as you can see, I put here zero, that's mean it will open my, uh, what do you call, my uh, default webcam, my PC webcam. And we are converting our uh, visual, uh, what do you call, a frame in a visual to RGB because you know open actually read the image in a visual format so that's why we need to convert this image into RGB why because this model is actually trained on the RGB images so now for actually for the improving performance we need to make the writable as false then we can train our model so you can see your hand thought process and inside that you need to put here the image or you can see video whatever okay so image dot flags dot writable again through after after training that okay so then again we need to actually convert our image into visual because we need to uh we need to actually show that okay so that's why and we are going to iterate through all the values from the multi hand landmarks so if i see see uh if i wanted to show an image okay so let's show it so now you can see her picture on a screen you can see her there are so many points so it will up to 0 to 20 so that's mean there are 20 points which thumbs cmc and the thumbs mcp so you can see here there's the tip of the thumbs 4, 8, 12, 16 and the 20. So this is the starting point of the hand pose. That means zero position. Okay. So actually we need to draw the uh, draw the circle then we are going to connect them. 
that's when you call it is called the hand connections okay so now we need to actually iterate through all the values from here and we are going to connect them okay so let's go our code again <clears throat> Okay, so now you can see here we are going to iterate through all the values. So if results are multi hand landmarks, we are going to iterate through all the values from here on this hand landmark. And we are going to draw the solution of that. So np dot draw landmarks, image and the hand landmark, and np hands dot hand connection. That's when you're going to join all the connection here. And again, em shoe and the white key. So if I save that and run the code, so now you can see here it will open my frame. Okay, frame. So if I put my hand, you can see here, it will actually detect my posts. But if I hoyen up here, but it not detected because the max hand is number one. If I again, so this one detected, this one not. Okay. So now the technique is here. So first thing first, we need, we need to actually uh, get the coordinate of the each point. And then we can calculate the, uh, calculate that his finger is open or not. Or how many fingers are open and how not opened okay so see so now you can see here for hand landmark in result dot multi hand landmarks so first thing first you need to actually uh, calculate the height and the weight of our actual frame so this is image dot shape then we need to actually get the coordinate of the each point so that's mean when you when i actually run the code you can see here the circle is actually uh, uh, red circle okay so we need to actually get the circle positions so this is called the uh this is called the cx okay that's the coordinate of the cx and coordinate of the cy so we need to actually iterate through all the values from here so now so actually when we are trying to enumerate all the thing of the id that's mean we have the 20 id so if i wanted to enumerate the id with their landmark then let's have a look how it actually looks. So for ID LM in enumerate on the result dot multi hand landmarks. So if I wanted to, okay, let's say land hand landmarks. This one, copy this and go to past it here. Dot land landmarks. Okay, this one. And if I trying to print the id and the landmark okay so let's print the landmark first landmark save and the run the code i think it will work rainier okay so okay not landmarks it should be the landmark save it and run the code i think it will work okay so now you can see here actually some values so if I close this, you can see here the coordinate of the X and the coordinate of the Y and the coordinate of the Z. So if I also try to print it ID, also the ID, let's save it and run the code again. So now you can see here, okay, again, I wanted to close them. So again, now you can see here the ID is 19, the ID is 20, okay. If I go up, you can see the ID actually started from zero. Okay, actually they started from zero. Maybe it's yes, start from zero, zero, one, two, three, something. Okay. If I go down, you can see here all the coordinate is given here. So now we need to actually what we need to we need to iterate through all the values, all the coordinate from here. Then you get the coordinate, actual coordinate, respectively our frame. So, so we actually calculate our shape of the image. Then what we need to do? We need to actually calculate the position of the hand or position of the circle okay so now let's see how can we do that so let's make copy is out and let's pass it out so now see so coordinate of the x and the coordinate of the y equal lm dot x that means the we are going to uh, only get only get the value of the x of the lm from lm you see here this is the list x y and the z then you're going to multiply with the width because this is the floating point value as you can see before so you need to convert this as an integer format and also we need to do it for the coordinate of the y so again uh, dot y and the height okay 
So now you can see your hand roll landmark. So now the question is the starting point of the hand landmark. What is this? That means we need to actually get the starting point of the hand landmark. So the starting point of the hand landmark actually start from zero position. So we need to also get this. So let's say results dot multi hand landmarks. Okay. And the position is nothing but zero. Okay, so let's make it a variable called let's say my hands because this is start from zero. Okay, I'm going to copy that and going to paste it here. Okay, so now it's fine. So now we get the coordinate of the x and the coordinate of the y. So now uh, if I try to print this out, okay, print the let's say the id and the cx and the let's say cy. Control S and if I going to save and run the code. So now you can see nothing is here. If I go up and press Q from the keyboard, so you can see here the ID is start from zero and the coordinate at the coordinate. Okay, you can see this is a coordinate value. Okay, so now we can actually store the value in a list. Okay, then you can get this how many finger here. Okay, so I'm going to click here to close this. Now we need to create an empty list to actually store the very value of the ID and the coordinate of the X value and the coordinate of the Y value. So let's make it out here. So let's say LM list and empty list. Okay. So we're going to append the value here. So let's say LM list dot append and the ID coordinate of the X value and the coordinate of the Y value. Okay. So now we need to actually uh, calculate and also you can set the count that how many picture uh, finger is opened and or how many finger are closed okay so let's save and run the code so I, I will talking about the technique okay so now you can see here all the uh, card yeah all the what do you call all the value here so this is the thumbs this is the nothing but the four this is the eight this is the 12 this is the 16 and this is the 20 so when I actually close this, okay, that's mean you can see this is the eight, this is the seven, and this is the six, okay, six. When this this value is below six, that's mean this is the closed. So if this value, that's mean eight is above the six, this is the six value, okay, this is the six below. So that's mean this is opened, okay, this is opened. So this is the technique. It also same as this. Same as this, same as this. But for the thumbs, you can see when I naturally actually uh, close this, this will go here. This is not below this two. This is the two. Zero and one. This is the one. Uh, this is the one and this is the two. So this is not below here. So that's when you need to check that the, it is the left hand side or the right hand side. Whatever. Okay. So we can we can calculate that this is the open or not. Okay. So let's implement that. So now we need to check that if the length of the LM list okay, is 0 or not. If not 0, we can do that. Otherwise, we don't do that. Because if there is a simple background, it will it will be the LM list should be empty. Because there is there not should be the ID, there not should be the coordinate, there should be the coordinate of the X. So we can create a condition so if the lm list of the id and the it will be the you can see here there are three value id cx and cy that's mean we, we are going to uh, calculate the white one that's mean x y z also you can see here in the lm that's mean landmark the two one is less equal okay less equal less not equal less lm list of six and the two so you can say that our finger is nothing but open okay else we can say that our finger is close I'm seeing that and run the code again okay so now you can see the first time it's opened again close that you can see a close open close open close open close so it's working if I close this one, it's also said that closed, man. But it's not working at that. But it's right now, it's not closed. This thumb is not closed. Okay. But it, this is for this one. Okay. This is for right now, it's open. 
but if I open that, not it is closed. Why closed? Because we don't code that for it. We, we code only for this one. So you need to actually code all of that. So you can create a list for that. So let's create the list, okay, for the tips ID. So let's say tip ID. Let's say tip ID is equal. We have the tip of the four, eight, 12, 16, and the 20. There's all the tip. Okay. So now let's create that. I'm not going to remove this. Let's comment it out and do the same as it is. So if lm list, so now you can see that this one is the age. It's I it's actually iterated from the IDs. So we need to create a loop for that. So let's say for ID in range it will start from 1 to 5 expecting the thumb okay okay let's format it out so tip ids and ids that's mean first time it will it will come from the tip id this one for it because we start from 1 not 0 expecting the thumb so 8 then 2 then 2 is less than lm list again tip ids okay then tip ids the this one should be id then what will be the minus 2 why because you can see 6 so 8 minus 6 equal to 2 and also the 2 again print we can say that closed that's been expecting the thumb then else we can say that print okay not close actually this should be the open open and this should be the close so let's try it out save and run the code again okay so now you can see opened close yep working so fine man okay so now let's do for the thumbs so thumbs is nothing but the id number zero that's mean for the tips id this one so you're going to iterate this one so if lm list the tip ids the zero positions and the value is nothing but one is uh, this one is the greater than and this should be the less than that's mean the tip ids not tip ids lm list and the tip ids zero positions and this with the minus one and one okay then we can say that print that's it thumb make sure that uh, thumb uh, uh, let's say open open or closed whatever so you can see your thumbs open but when thumbs close nothing will see here okay nothing will see here so that's mean oh you are okay okay so now we need to actually create a list to do that if the all the finger okay if any of the finger is open we can say that this is the one if all the finger of the end of the finger is closed then we can say that uh, this is the zero okay so let's create an empty list so let's make it as let's say fingers equal let's say empty list okay we are going to iterate some values here let's say append as one so otherwise we can say that we are going to finger dot append that's mean when the thumbs is closed we can say that this is the zero again control c and i'm going to paste it here and again copy it out from here and i'm going to paste it here okay so now we can count here so total that's a total equal let's say finger dot count we're going to count only for one that's been one for only finger how many finger are opened okay or how many finger here okay so if i trying to print it out so let's say print the total okay save and run the code here run 
So now you can hear 5, 4, 3, 2, and the 1. Again, right now you can see here this is 0. So we need, we need the 0 and the 5. Okay, this 5. So I press Q from the keyboard and it will go. Okay. <clears throat> so now let's have a lock. Okay, let's remove it out. So if total equal equal 0, we are said that if the 0, that means this is a break on our hill claim racing game. Ill if, okay, ill if total equal equal 5, then we can say that this is the accelerator, okay, or you can say the gash, whatever. Okay, again, I'm going to save and run the code here. Okay, so again, you can see here this is the gash, and yes, this is the back. So you can use that to actually uh, uh, automate the game. So now, so now we need to actually using, uh, uh, you can see here files, drive key, you can also use the uh, pi auto going to actually automate this game. But in this way, I am not going to use the PyOT code, PyOT grid. In this case, I am using the C type. So if I go here on the directory, you can see here, this code is already uh, done. Okay, and I download this code from Google. Okay, so import C type, you can see here also import the time. And if I go down, you can see here the right press, this is the hexa code. Okay, this is the hexa code. Not a hex, this is the base 4, okay, if I go here, okay, base 4, it will take that. Convert a number or a string into integer or return 0 if no argument is given. Okay, if I go down, you can see that there are two functions called fast key and the release key. How you press the key, we need to also release the key. Otherwise, it will be, it will not gone. It will always press the key, okay. If I go here, so we need to check, we need to call them here. So if I go on the step text, we need to actually follow these some steps. So first thing first, we need to actually import this library from here. This is not actual library. I will explain why. So now you can say you import the time that from directory, that's me this directory Python file. We're going to import the right key press and the left key press. We need that. Okay. And the from directory, we import the pass key and the release key. We need that. Okay. Again, go here. So we are going to copy this. Follow me, okay? So you can see a back key press equal to left pressed, okay? So don't worry on that. I'll be actually uh, put this all code in my uh, GitHub link as a zip file, and there is a password called uh, Chandudo. This is the password. If you see this video on the middle of, and you can say that, okay? The password is Chandudo. My name. All the lower case better. Okay, so now you can see black key press equal to left key press. So when we uh, press the left key, that means this is the black key, and the the right key, this is the gash key or the accelerator key, whatever you say. Then we we time the slip for the two seconds. Okay, that we you can say current key press equal to set. Why set? I'll be explaining in the next. Okay, if I go here and we need to also copy this out. Control C. Okay, go down and need to pass it here. Let's format it out. Okay, so key pressed equal to false. All the key are false right now and all the count and the pressed are right now zero. Okay. So now I'm going to copy this one. Control C. So when all the finger are closed, that means we need to break them. So this is the code for back. So in the demo video, you can see here a green field, okay, green field. So in on the green field, you can see a black or gash, whatever in the uh, in the blue color. So we fill that CV2 rectangle, we, this is the rectangle image, this is the coordinate, and this is the coordinate, and this is the color, okay? Red, green, blue, that means this is a green color, and we are going to fill that. Then you put the text at the break, and the 40 pipe, and the 372, this is the coordinate. And cb2.font hash simplex this is the font color, uh, font okay, font name sorry, not color. And this is the you can see here, and this is the color, and this is the thickness, and this is the scale vector, okay. 
and you can see you press the key when you press the back key and we we make the back press as a true and also we, we pass this value on our set okay you can see current key press dot add equal to on this at on this breakfast that's mean again we we make the key press at the breakfast because right now it, it is on the back then again we make the key press as true because all the things are false and we make the count as one that's mean zero plus one that's mean one right now it is on back so we need to do same as it is for the cache okay it's also same copy and then pass it out from here okay so you can see all the code are same so just it's it's for the accelerator or the cache whatever you say okay okay same all the code are same so now the question is you can see here it will the it, it is the set you know set actually don't access or don't take the duplicate value that's mean when we break that when with the cache or the accelerator all the value will be put on your current key press set so if we break key break key or a break accelerator break cache so all the values are go on this set that's mean it will just return two values or back or gash because this not actually take the duplicate so if I run the code and also open my game so let's open the game first okay so right now you can say game is open and I'm going to run the code We need to press some here. Okay. I press here. Now we can see it is the gas and it's the back. But now we need to go to the back. Right now you can see all the key are gas. All the key are gas. You can see all the key are gas. But it's not this. That's why our set is right now. In our set, there is a two value, drag and gas. But we know we need that. We need to also use that. That means we need to actually remove uh, the value from our stack. Okay, let's go here. Okay, so you need to also release the key here. Okay, this is the technique. So again, go here. This is the code for the release. okay so now you can see here after releasing the key we are making the set as null empty set okay all the all the condition you can see here all the condition the set is nothing but null okay so this is the simple code you can easily grab that so if i run the code and go here and also open this game Okay, again click here. Now you can see the cache. What? Drag, cache. Okay, you can see a press and release. Okay, <laughs> okay. So this is the tutorial. Hope you will enjoy this tutorial and make sure to subscribe to the channel and don't forget to hit the bell icon. And one thing that is, please watch the video from YouTube. You know, watch time is more important. And thank you and bye bye.